Hofa has launched, well, actually a little while ago, I think a month ago or something, they launched a, a new reverb, the IQ series Reverb V2. And it looks really advanced. So let's dive into that today, of course. Let's go. Bam. All right, so the IQ series Reverb V2 is the reverb. They specifically type it in caps, the reverb. So let's see, it looks very uh, promising. Let's, um, let's take a look, 1500 high quality impulse responses. Okay, so it's a reverb that works with impulse responses. So it's not, not yeah, okay. 5.1 surround capability. That's not a lot of reverbs that can do that actually. EQ compressor, modulation, saturation gate, IR envelope and positioner, but that's an, I have to uh, understand that. <laughs> Four impulse response engines and two algo verb for individual blends. That is going to take a lot of CPU force. Is it? We have to check it. Stereo and true stereo impulse responses, room ambience, blah, blah, blah. So it's it's not cheap. It's 229 euros or with the impulse responses, 290 euros. But it's advanced, I think. It has never been easier to achieve impressive depth and three dimensionality in your productions. So it's also easy. So it's advanced and easy or it looks advanced, but it's easy. Uh, it, it, it didn't say anywhere that it was advanced, but smart browser, largest collection of reverb sounds. Okay. Crazily creative. Don't you sometimes want to distort gate or modulate a reverb or do anything else you can think of? Yes, certainly. This plugin gives you impressive options for creative work. This also includes the possibility to lengthen or shorten frequency components of the impulse responses directly in the three dimensional view. Okay, six at a time. Let you mix up to six reverb sounds. That's actually a pretty interesting technique. And that's also, uh, I think it wasn't that CLA thing from, from Waves with reverbs. Like combining different reverbs gives a separated reverb on itself. All right, so we also have IR packs. I don't know if I have them installed. Do I separately? Oh, oh, doesn't really have a demo for them. So quite honestly, Hofa contacted me asking if I wanted to review it. And as always, I just run the demo of it. And actually they weren't even as far as, as sending me the license yet. So uh, I, I don't really have the license and I like to draw conclusions from testing the demo because that's what you guys can also do. So, um, all right, so uh, this is it. And uh, I think this is all control. This uh, looks like all the presets that are in there. Oh, and I think, oh, this is how you sort it. That's always an issue with presets. Like normally you get like a long list of presets and then it's like, and of course you have a few folders, but it's still difficult to, to sort them and to figure out what is what. Okay, cool. What is this? Oh, this is our impulse response, our waterfall plot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back to the original. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, oh, we also have rotate, move. Oh, we can also move it, we can zoom in. Okay, cool. Oh, we can also uh, stretch it or not unstretch it. Okay, cool. Double click is reset. Okay. Well, um, let's uh, let's see if if any reverberation comes out of this. And uh, the best way of doing this is by running a track from Darut to this, also known as Sandstorm. Okay, we were 100% wet. Let's. A lot of reverb. Let's just do the melody. Okay. Oh, it's very nice visualization. It, it really shows what it's... That's really good. That's really good. Okay. Mid relaxed. So these are all plate reverbs. I didn't even know that there were as many plate reverbs as this. How do I, how do I load a, oh, just clicking on it and then you're already in, oh, that's easy. Let's add the percussion, that's. Oh, that's, it's, it's all sounds pretty nice. But if, if I understand this correctly, I can now, 
add a second impulse response like uh, i don't know this one and a third one but if i do this all can i then no, this, i don't have a global time response or do i reverb time response Oh guys, this is this is not easy. This is not easy. This is super like you want to have something like like a global setting. You have a wet dry wet setting global. Oh, we also have a snare setting to test, but there's no like let's say that that I've built a cool reverb with like a few impulse responses and then I just want I want to have a little a little bit shorter of I want to have because this is all this is not global I think is this global no this is not global it is very cool by the way that that these these things like this these settings that it is all per imp impulse response okay now EQ turn it on let's switch these off let's go uh, let's go here Like that. IR cut. What can I do here? It's like, like gating it. But then, oh, but that's cool, but it's not gating it on level, it's gating it on length. That's like a new way of gating your snare. Like, yeah, cool, cool. Modulation. Yeah, cool, cool. Positioner. So I think this is most of all for surround purposes. Oh, oh, that's cool. And then it's, oh, and then it's also doing the dry wet stuff. Okay, okay, cool. Compressor. I can also change the order, I see, okay. So it's really cool that it has that built in. Of course, this is not a unique selling point because it's pretty easy to like include it in your in your own chain or whatever. I I'm actually soon going to make a way to to have that art compressor on my reverb so that I can compress the the stuff that I'm sending in there. This whole thing with handling the the impulse responses and what what we can do to it. We can even lower it. We can even make a volume curve in here. It is what I said, super advanced. However, what they're saying that it is easy kinda 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 it is easy but it's just a little bit of a, a, a i would like to see a global global setting somewhere so not not this but yeah really global setting all right we also have a algo verb so that is uh that's just an algorithmic reverb so we can just uh, if we want to have drums and uh we can just enable that uh, on yeah, we can combine that with like a drum plate, uh, usage drums type, like with a short warm plate and anyone can com combine it like this. Because a realistic reverb is cool on, it, on drums, but you also want to have a little bit of that nastiness. Like this. Of course, I have a kick in there right now, but I, I don't care. I don't care. And you shouldn't either. Oh, this, oh, this is already cool. Yeah.
So either I'm looking over it, I'm just not seeing the, the global setting or it's not in there. And if it's not in there, then it should be in there. And if it's in there, it should be more obvious. There should be like this big button. There should be a big button over here like with like global reverb time. Like if there's one thing and pre-delay, I think pre-delay. So pre-delay per, per tap, per, per uh, response or uh, algorithm and a global one that just grabs them all as a group and just lowers them or, or turns them up however you want. That would make this so much easier to use, if you ask me. I, I don't know what you guys think, but if you ask me, it, it would make it a lot easier to use. Now, it's really cool that, that you can uh, load in uh, impulse responses. You can even, I think, load in your own. Yeah, you can create your own impulse responses as well. It's just a really advanced reverb. And if you're looking for an advanced reverb to create your own reverb in, really, really nice plugin. And I think it will be even nicer if you take the time to uh, read a few details on how to use it. Uh, and that's of course what I'm not doing in these videos. Yeah, nice stuff. Absolutely not snake oil. Absolutely not. Although the only thing is that it's not as easy to use as they say on their website. But it's also not a, like Melda Productions level where it's like really difficult to, to find uh, your way in the plugin. Um, I only reviewed one Melda Productions plugin, but that one I remember was very difficult. One more thing I want to test, if I enable all the impulse responses. Because that is what you guys want to know, of course. Like if I enable them all. I'm gonna do like... Uh and I, I choose a few very long, very long settings, like this. Uh, it's barely eating my CPU, so it's, it's, it's a very efficient one as well, although I do have a pretty tough system. Yeah, uh, it's linked uh, in the description below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if it if it runs on your uh, computer with all the impulse responses on. It has a 14-day trial, so yeah, check it out yourself and let me know what you think. If you want to support the channel, then it's possible. It's all linked below. I've got merchandise like uh, yellow t-shirts uh, and also in different colors as well. <laughs> um, and there's a... Um, Affiliate link as well. So when you click that link and then purchase something, a little bit gets kicked back to the studio again. What you can also do is joining a Patreon over here. And on Patreon, you get uh, things like early access to videos and uh, answers to your questions and all that kind of good stuff. So check it out over here. Last way to support me, of course, is by subscribing and watching more videos. And if you want to do that, why not start here? I want to thank you all a lot for watching this video. Keep pushing and bye bye.